You know, friends, throughout most of my life, I've gotten slightly mean comments on my chubby cheeks. And there's been times where I wish I could just like suck the cheek fat out of my cheek, you know. But some people in the world have the opposite problem. Their cheeks are too skinny. Some people feel like they've just got two pancakes stuck to the side of their face and they need more. Take this woman from the Ukraine, 30 year old Anastasia Pokershuk, who has the self-proclaimed biggest cheeks in the world. They have the biggest cheeks in the world. I look the way I do because I like this. Some people think that, oh, it's just for hype. I'm doing just for me. I want to wake up, go to the mirror and say, oh, Nasty, you are so beautiful today. That's not what I expected. <laughs> Those are, I think, the most insane <gasps> cheeks I've ever seen. Did you see the before picture? She was like very cute. I guess we're all our own worst critics. I thought her cheeks looked great before. I love, I love what I see there. She can't smile. Hi everybody, my name is Nastya and I have the biggest cheeks in the world. I look the way I do because I like this. This is the only one reason. I will never put something in, in my face what I didn't like, you know? But, okay, so she wants to look like a Star Trek character. That's her preference. You can't, I, who's gonna make fun of you if that's how you wanna look? She's doing something right, I suppose. Yeah, her before picture, she's quite pretty. She actually looks kind of familiar before. And I see, I see nothing wrong with the cheeks before, but you know. A lot of you said that I didn't need so much Botox in my forehead, but here we are. I can't move my eyebrows that much, so I'm not judging. When I was 26 years old, I understand that I look... Uh, pretty? That I'm not very pretty, yes. So I decided to make my lips because uh, I haven't lips at all. It was like like this it was ugly so i started uh, making my lips see okay can i be totally honest with you guys even though none of you asked for my opinion i don't i don't like lip filler ah! that's my opinion because i completely understand wanting fuller lips i overdraw mine because i also like the fuller lip look unsolicited advice a lot of times what we actually want when we want fuller lips is taller lips you know what i mean not wider taller and not outer <laughs> you don't necessarily want them to homer simpson stick out that way sometimes it's as simple as overdrawing them a little bit so they get taller and you, and you don't end up with you know a couple a couple of vienna sausages on your face does that mean that's mean no I don't care about this you guys are still cute okay <laughs> i'm gonna get canceled again it's fine one year ago i started making make such cheeks now i think i have to refresh already I think that they're a little bit small. <laughs> you think that it's too big, but for me, it's a little bit small now. Wow. I never count how many procedures I have in my face. I never count because it's a lot. You can see that this is a lot of, yes? I really like her personality. <laughs> like she's just kind of owning that it looks like there's tennis balls under her cheeks. And you know, she's actually still, she's still quite pretty. She has beautiful skin, first of all. I wish I was glowing like that. The other problem with stuff like this, like as soon as you get filler, you get addicted. And I'm sure the same could be said for Botox too. So it's not like I'm above any of this. I'm just saying be so careful and go to a surgeon who, you know, um, will maybe know when to hang it up if you can't see it yourself because you're a little bit philorexic, you know? The person injecting you should know <laughs> where to draw the line. It's lips, it's uh, cheeks, Botox here. Some time ago I have fillers here. I make, uh, this is, I made myself this, draw angles. Mm. Oh, a little bit of a jaw liposuction. That looks really good in my opinion. A nice sharp jaw. I wish I had a nice sharp jaw. I've considered the same procedure, but I'm sc it's scary, you know? Because like, what if you don't look like you anymore? Case in point. No. Nastia. So angles and my chin. I never count how much I spent on my face. I never count, but I know that it's a lot. Maybe it's maybe around two thousand dollars in my cheeks. That's actually less than I thought she was gonna say. So, but I never count. I don't care about this. I wonder where she makes all her money. You know, if you just got, if you can, if you can just blow thousands of dollars on on cheek stuff, she must be making really good money. Or perhaps there's a sugar daddy who's super into Star Trek cheeks. <laughs> Now we're going to the clinic. I will make some fillers to my friends. Am I allowed to mimic her accent? Because I love it. She kind of sounds like the, those are not the droids you're looking for, lady. These are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> I just love that. What's going on here? Oh, it's a different guy. 
Wait, she's injecting... She's injecting her friend? All right, hold up. We're not gonna show this. Just a word to the wise. Don't get yourself injected by somebody who maybe looks like they overdo the injections. No. <laughs> Unless you want, you know, forget my opinion. Forget my opinion. My opinion! If this makes them happy and they want to look like this, I redact everything I just said. <laughs> have very good audience. There are some haters, yes, not without that, but uh, I'm, I don't give a f Oh. Honestly, I would kind of want a selfie with her too. For everyone, and I absolutely don't judge and support her because she represents herself, her own personality, so I'm absolutely not against her. Okay, well, you just made me look bad <laughs> for judging her cheeks. Don't you just sometimes want the best for people? Because here's my other question. What happens if one day she decides I no longer like, you know, the Star Trek cheeks and she wants to get them removed. Are you gonna have like a weird saggy cheek skin? She doesn't strike me as a type of person who would embrace that. It would be like a a weird stretchy skin bag if she ever wanted to get it dissolved, right? It's a big commitment is all I'm saying. There is lots of what I want to add, okay? I want veneers. I want this Hollywood smile, yes? She, she's so likable though. I will keep my cheeks big because I love it and also I want to put implant in my chin. Oh, she also wants a chin implant aka a chin plant. Chin plants are usually quite subtle. I mean, I haven't seen that many like insanely bad chin plants. This is like addiction because I don't want to live without fillers or botox because I don't love wrinkles. I don't love lips like this. Maybe this is the kind of addiction. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, you know what? Uh, over the course of the last five minutes, I am now brainwashed and converted, and I think that I too want golf ball cheeks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's check out the comments. I don't understand how she was insecure before all that surgery. She actually looked good. Yeah, I don't either. However, we're all our own worst. You know what I mean? It's all relative. This comment says, it's not okay to support someone who's hurting themselves instead of getting the help they need. People today are so much more concerned with appearing open-minded than the actual well-being of others. Well, okay, but is it hurting her though? Is all that cheek filler harmful? Harmful? I don't know. <laughs> this comment says, I can't find a reason to dislike her. I love her voice. She's pretty funny, kind of quirky. Hopefully she doesn't cause much damage to herself. Gotta agree with that. This comment says, it's fascinating how much some people are willing to pay to look ugly. <laughs> it's a little mean. Well, friends, the moral of today's story is attitude is the little thing that makes a big difference. Yeah! I just found that quote online and it's quite fitting for today. Well, that's it for me today, friends. Be careful with your faces. Peace out. Well, welcome to another episode of I look 12 years old. What's happening? I don't know what to tell you.